Welcome, I'm Russell Alexander. Today we're going to discuss spousal support during the pandemic, rights, obligations, and remedies. We're still seeing support payers suffer a loss in the re reduction in their incomes as a result of the pandemic. The court is currently only dealing with urgent or emergency matters regarding child custody and access. It hasn't started dealing with support issues. There remains a certain degree of uncertainty with respect to what the courts can be prepared to deal with in the near future. It's just a matter of time before the economic effects of the pandemic regarding spousal support obligations will transition from being simply a matter of um, inconvenience to real hardship. Currently, the court's prepared to deal with spousal support claims retroactively at a later date when the justice system returns to normal. These cases are going to start turning into cases of urgency, requiring the court to take the action if this pandemic continues for several months. The economic hardship that's almost certain to ensure in the future uh, is upon us. The government efforts to bridge the gap have uh, been a bit of a stopgap. There's been some subsidies and programs out there, but I think it's just a matter of time before support payers run into difficulty paying their spousal support orders. Unlike child support obligations that typically adjust each year, existing orders and agreements may not provide for an automatic adjustment to spousal support. What we need to do is consider the basis of the support order. Is it voluntary? Is it court ordered? Is it part of a domestic contract or separation agreement? We also need to consider the specific terms of the spousal support agreement. Is the support time limited? Is it indefinite? Is it subject to a review or variation? Is the support compensatory given the roles the parties play during the relationship? Does the agreement list what a material change is and provide examples? The concept of a material change is a legal one. Variations to support are likely going to be fact-driven and may result generate different results. The current trend before the family court is that support obligations are not being considered urgent. Again, the court's going to be prepared to deal with these retroactively at a later date. I think we're going to see an increasing demand from our clients for, to deal with support issues as the, as the months go on and this pandemic continues. Look for our podcast or our YouTube video on this topic of spousal support during the pandemic. We spend over an hour discussing these issues with other lawyers and experts and give you a flavor in terms of what you should be looking for and what you should be considering when dealing with spousal support during the pandemic. Please like this video, share this video, a bell will pop up. You can subscribe to our future videos. There's a box at the bottom of your screen where you can leave your comments. If you have any questions you want to give, raise about spousal support during the pandemic, please leave those questions in the box below. We're going to try to endeavor to answer all the questions that we get. More importantly, please be safe and thank you for watching this video.